Legends of Tomorrow. Now, this show sounds a little bit far fetched. If I it also sounds like kind of a bad name. Like, did they need yeah. to put in DC in the beginning? Just call it Legends uh, of Tomorrow. And it might it might be just called Legends of Tomorrow, but I'm I'm because it always has the DC symbol right there. So Legends of Tomorrow I don't want might the be DC there. symbol to be in there because now it is confusing. I agree. Just well, Marvel has Marvel's Legends Avengers and Marvel's Agents of Shield and Marvel and everything. Shouldn't. All right, well, that's semantics. We don't need to talk about that. Um, <laughs> so so this show is going to feature an ensemble cast. Now, we always knew that it was going to be more than just one superhero. When they started tossing around the Atom was going to be in there, they always mentioned that it's going to be a couple other characters. So it looks like it's going to be White Canary. Now, if you watch the Arrow show, that is Black Canary, or just Canary. Um and she like dies and she's resurrected as white canary then you have the atom firestorm hot girl will make it be making appearance you have two villains who are apparently are going to be changed over to good guys and that's captain cold and heat wave which is kind of interesting okay. you're also in the trailer it looked like flash and green arrow were going to pop in and out of the group but not be mainstays of said group so we're going to see what happens but it, and then there's this guy called rip hunter now, Rip the reason, yeah, Rip Hunter. So the reason it, it's called it's, okay, the reason it's called Legends of Tomorrow is because Rip Hunter is actually part of a group called the Time Masters, and he comes back in time to assemble this group of heroes to fight the evil that is Vandal Savage. Now, if you don't know who Vandal Savage is, he actually does pop up a lot. I believe he started as a Green Lantern villain um, back in 1944, I want to say, is his first appearance. Um, but this guy is an immortal. He was exposed to a meteor that had very odd radiation about 50,000 years ago. And this radiation gave him you know, enhanced physical abilities as well as enhanced mental abilities, as well as immortality. So Was he a he, human from that or just some other being at that point? He was a human. Yeah, he was a human. I'm just trying to figure out he, how he Like, in the Cro-Magnum so. era, he then was, like, evolved past them because of this radiation. Okay. So, but, and he's also immortal. I mean, don't try to make too much sense of him. <laughs> you know? He's, he's immortal, so... And so in the trailer, it pretty much shows uh, Green Arrow and Flash bringing these people together, saying, oh, you know, sometimes it takes more than just one person. Sometimes you need a team. And then Rip Hunter goes, yes, because you guys are the legends of tomorrow and you know it's kind of corny and cheesy but uh it reminds it, me entirely of the uh the robot from uh aqua teen hunger force you know what i'm talking about yep i know what you're talking about but you're gonna have to elaborate for everybody else. so there's this in aqua teen hunger force there's this robot from the future that's also the ghost of christmas past that comes back and tells them things that will happen in the future in the past mm-hmm has long stories about how Santa Claus used to be a giant ape and uh, enslaved a bunch of aliens and yeah. weird stuff like that. But he always says, like, I'll, I'll see you on Christmas tomorrow or yesterday tomorrow. It's like, okay, because he can type. Yeah, so, <laughs> so uh, yeah, so where was I? Um, yeah, so they show Rip kind of telling them all what's going to happen now. Again, Vandal Savage is going to be the main bad guy. Uh, and I've seen a couple really cool things with Vandal Savage. I've seen different ones where he took over the Nazi party and helped the Germany, Germans win World War uh, he Two. He's a jerk. Um, I've seen ones where in the future, uh, like I saw something where Superman gets transported 50,000 years into the future and Vandal Savage is the only one left on the planet because it's been taken over by these big, huge radioactive uh, bugs, per se. And so this is a character that does pop in and out, and he's fought almost everybody in the DC universe. He he's a mainstay villain. So he's, he's I had think times. this is yeah. Well, yeah, I think he's a really good character to have as a villain. And this show is going to be interesting because saying that they're going to be popping in and out of time kind of gives you more play for you know you don't have to be set with what's going on in Arrow. You don't have to be set with what's going on in the Flash. You can kind of play around and have your own universe here and there. Uh, you can, you know, you're not going to be really messing with the time continuum because that is why Rip Hunter has come through here. He's going to stop Vandal from using his armies and stuff like that to mess up the time continuum. And that is how they become legends. And now um, Hawkgirl looked pretty interesting. Uh, they said it's a girl with multiple life syndrome. Um, so 
I think she's, you know, looking back at having former lives, and that is a storyline from Hot Girl. But I do want to see her fly around. That looks pretty cool. Um, one I didn't really – the Atom is going to be cool, but eh, I, I was never a big fan of the Atom. Um, Firestorm, that's going to be kind of interesting because it's a guy who, like, half changes over every now and then, so that's going to be weird. But uh, Captain that, Cold that and Heat for Wave. good character depth to, to throw into the mix, though, if they yes. play off of that. That aspect yeah, that but he's not entirely a good guy. He's not entirely a bad guy. So that'll be interesting. But then you have two just bad guys with Captain Cold and Heat Wave. So that's going to be interesting how they go in there. Um, I am actually kind of excited to watch the show. It does look kind of corny. Um, but it looks like a corny good time, not a corny bad time. So I did enjoy Arrow. I uh, have not caught up on Flash yet, but everybody says that that's a pretty darn good show too. So... Hey, I'm I'm excited to see what CW's got for us next. Are you going to be watching Legends of Tomorrow? Are you excited to see it? Hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at what's my face on Twitter, Google Plus, and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us.